Hi there, in this video, we are going to enlarge images without losing quality. Like you can see here, we enlarge the image in the left and you can see the results in the right. We didn't lose the quality. Before we begin, if you don't have the Adobe Photoshop installed in your machine, I place the link in the description below where you can download the last version of Adobe Photoshop for free. And if you encounter any problem installing the software, just leave me a comment and I will reply to help you. So let's get started. So to begin, we open the image. We want to enlarge and make it bigger. Like you can notice here. So a little zoom in to see all the parts of the image. We unlock the layer, double click on it. We go to image and we go to image size. Like you can notice, the image have 3744 in the width and 5000 in the high. So the first thing we are going to do is we create a new copy of the image. We will call it test one. And we come back to layer, new duplicate layer new we create a new copy we call it test 2 so we have, now we have three copy of the image we will enlarge each one with different methods we go to image image size for the width we will enlarge it from 3000 to 9000 like you can see and for this time we will choose preserve the tie enlargements in the option and for the reduce noise we will choose 10% and we can we will click OK. So for this first image we use to preserve the tide enlargement. We go a little seconds and Photoshop will enlarge the image with this preserve the tide enlargement option. Like you can notice here we go to test one image image size we will make 9000 like other time and we will chase preserve the tide to one zero this time like you can notice this is the result we go to test tree image image size 9000 in the width <coughs> and this time we will choose bicovic smother enlargement and we click ok so we make the enlargements of the image with three different methods so now we have to choose which is the best one for us. So we will show the images three vertically. We go to arrange, match all. And they are the three images. They are in the same point now. With the move tool, we will move the image a little to the left to make the comparison. Also, this image here to the left. This is test one, and this this is the last one, the test two image. We arrange them vertically like this to see the difference and to see which which one is the better one. I think the first one. There is no huge difference between all the three, the three methods with. To enlarge images but I think in my opinion the first one is the better one so we will remove the other two layers we remove this one and we will remove this one and we will stay with this one here which was the preserve the type arrangement the first option in the image size which was the better one. Alright guys, I wish you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to get the tutorials coming up. If you have any issues installing the software or applying today's lesson, just leave me a comment and I will reply. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorials.